The giant container ship grounded in the Suez Canal could be dislodged by the start of next week. A Dutch firm working to free the vessel, Boskalis, says the combination of heavier tugboats arriving this weekend, a high tide and dredging could free the 400-metre-long Ever Given. Peter Badowski, the chief executive of Boskalis, told a Dutch TV programme late Friday that, quote, we aim to get it done after the weekend, but everything will have to work out exactly right for that. He added that a land crane would be brought in at the weekend to offload containers on the ship if efforts to dislodge it are in vain. But experts have warned that such a process could be complex and lengthy. The Ever Given has been wedged diagonally across the canal since Tuesday, blocking one of the world's busiest waterways. About 15% of world shipping traffic passes through the canal. Dozens of vessels are waiting at the entrances. Shipping rates for oil product tankers nearly doubled after the ship became stranded. The blockage has scrambled global supply chains. If this drags on, shippers may decide to reroute around the Cape of Good Hope. But this would add about two weeks to the journeys and extra fuel cost. Currency for Egypt. The country raked in $5.6 billion in tolls in 2020, despite global trade disruption elsewhere. The 120-mile-long canal separates the African continent from Asia. It also provides the shortest sea link between Asia and Europe and the lands lying around the Indian and Western Pacific Oceans. The first waterway was dug over 3,500 years ago, but significant enhancements came in the 19th century to link the Mediterranean with the Red Sea via the River Nile. World's President Nasser announced that Egypt had taken over the Suez Canal. The international waterway, of which Britain has been a large shareholder, since Israel's dramatic... In 1956, Egypt nationalised the canal, prompting shareholders Britain and France, along with Israel, to invade. The Suez crisis only ended after Egypt sank 40 ships in the channel and the US, Soviet Union and UN intervened, forcing Britain, France and Israel to withdraw. The state-owned Suez Canal Authority